So I've been enjoying for several days now the great privilege of studying the human heart, a human heart, from a form I call Anna. And I'm kind of at an advanced stage of the preparation, and I just thought I would share with you a little bit about the coronary arteries, uh, which are the most immediate branching of the aorta. And just give you a peek on how the heart feeds itself first. Maybe you've heard that phrase before, but have you seen it? So here is Anna's beautiful heart and positioned as we would see it, looking straight on. We see the right atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. We have our uh, left atrium in the back here. I've actually opened them, the atria. I'm not going to give you a whole tour of that, though. Just to give you the idea, though, right atrium and left atrium. And they are kind of snuggling around uh, the initial portion of the aorta, which is here, coming out of the left ventricle, and here, uh, the pulmonary trunk, which is coming out of the right ventricle, and we see the beautiful semilunar valves here. But what I want to highlight is this. Look at these amazing branches coming off of the aorta. Right? Look at that. These are the coronary arteries. See that? Coronary arteries. Where are they coming? They're coming right here at the very base of the aorta at the other semilunar valve. We can see those cusps are pulled back here. Or maybe you can't. There you go. You can see the cups, the, little cu the cuspy cups of the semilunar valve. And on this side, too, we see an incredibly beautiful branching. Where am I? I'm inside the aorta and I'm poking my probe through here to show you that this is a pathway coming out initially from the aorta, most immediately from the aorta, and branching down the front of the heart, right anterior coronary artery and several of its other branches, the posterior branch here of the right coronary artery. See that? Look at that beautiful, beautiful set of, set of uh, pathways on the right side and on the left side, coronary arteries coming from here. The heart uh, feeds itself immediately. Look at the embrace. It's literally like, like a hand here, and these are the fingers. The fingers of the heart hugging itself. Right, The heart center is embraced by the coronary arteries, which are immediately branching off of the aorta. So... Like I said at the beginning, the heart feeds itself first. It's the only way we can survive. And we have to acknowledge our own needs, not only the needs of others, I should say, along with the needs of others, right? <laughs> so it's not, just, uh, it's not just for our own sake that the heart feeds itself first, because if it didn't, we couldn't do service either, right? So we have to, we have to pair our self-support with the support of others, Otherwise, the helper burns out, right? So here is the central helper of the human body, the beautiful heart, feeding itself first with these coronary branches. What, what beautiful lessons human anatomy offers us on how to live our lives, huh? Thanks, Anna. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.